General surgeons are predominantly abdominal surgeons. We operate from the diaphragm to the pelvis. Uh, and then sometimes we go out that, outside that area, for instance, breast surgery. And we certainly do some operations on the extremities, but mainly we're abdominal surgeons. Uh, some of the operations that we do most commonly are uh, cholecystectomy, uh, hernia operations, cancer operations. We also do skin and soft tissue tumors. I've been doing this long enough that uh, when I first started, most general surgical operations were done open. And then as I trained, uh, we began to do laparoscopic procedures. And I would say the advent of minimally invasive surgery is the biggest change that's taken place in, in general surgery. That's one of my special areas of interest is the da Vinci robot for general and colorectal surgery. As far as benefits for the patient, it gives the surgeon a better visualization. We can, instead of looking at a um, traditional television monitor, which is two-dimensional, we're looking through a 3D high-def view when we have our head in the console. Also, the instruments move with extreme precision, uh, sometimes more precise than we can get with, our, with just our hands. And one of the key things to emphasize is that it's not really a robot, because a robot apply, implies autonomous the robot does absolutely nothing without input from the surgeon. It, if I pull my head, head out of the console, it freezes. If I let go of the instruments, it freezes. So it's not capable of doing anything by itself. The robot has been used for surgical procedures. I think the first one was probably 1995. But the original areas where it was uh, used extensively were urology. Uh, it's very useful for, for prostatectomy and also GYN, particularly GYN oncology. The last field to kind of catch on has been general surgery.